Today we're going to learn about making homemade tacos. And for our meal today we need about a pound of ground beef. We need some corn tortillas. Jack, Monterey Jack cheese. Plain old head lettuce. Some tomatoes. Onion. And your favorite taco sauce or salsa sauce. The, the pan you'll need are, is a cheese grater. We're going to be needing a cutting board, some oil to fry our tortillas in, and two separate frying pans, one for the meat and a cast iron skillet to fry the tortillas in. And of course we have our few seasonings, salt, pepper, and a little bit of chipotle chili pepper to start. Now, most people start off with the cooking and then they cut up everything and they eat. But with tacos, you're frying taco shells and they need to be hot, so we're pretty much gonna do all the prep work while the meat is cooking. I'm gonna so turn my gas stove on medium. Since I'm using a stainless steel pan, you wouldn't want to cook over medium or it'll ruin the pan. I'll put the entire pound of ground beef in there. And as it starts to cook, I need it. As it starts to cook, we'll see. So next I start to hear the meat sizzle. I should get out a spoon, a wooden spoon, to break up the meat. And as you know with ground beef, it really doesn't take that long because it doesn't have to be well done. So now seems like a good time to season it. I will just take and experienced cooks seem to know about how much salt and pepper to use. We like our pepper. And although this is a taco, we're not using the Lowry's taco seasoning. We're making more traditional. And this just adds a little zest to the meat. It's cooking. Next steps are to wash our vegetables. So I rinse off my tomatoes. Prepare the lettuce. Now, in this day and age, people like to buy organic vegetables. However, I notice with the organic vegetables, they tend to have more bugs. So in this case, I'm going with pesticide-laden lettuce. So excuse me. So I'll take about half of the lettuce and I'll let it drain here. So let's go over and stir our meat again. I can step over to my cutting board since I've stirred this and cutting up for my tomatoes. So obviously you want to cut off the stem end because nobody really wants it. And I'm going to just dice it up. So for those of you who don't know, dicing is small cubes. Those of you not from the cooking community. Okay, needs to cook just a little bit longer. So, I'm going to cut up my onion next. Well, I recently made tacos, so I have a half of onion, so there's no need for waste, so I'm going to use the existing onion and dice this up. Oh, it's okay. So I do have an onion slicer, but I don't feel like I need to use it. And the beauty of making tacos is there's something for everyone because not everyone likes onions or tomatoes or lettuce or beef perhaps. So it's a nice meal to serve a group of people in a potluck because they can make it however they choose. Sue, Chef Taylor, I need another bowl please. Same size. 
All right, our meat should almost be finished. I think it is. Oh, it's really good. These are onions. These tomatoes. All right, I'm going to shut off my meat right, here and try a different bowl. If you don't use up all your onions, you can freeze them and you can use them in other dishes, spaghetti or casseroles or cakes, anything you want. So and now I need a hot pad because I've got to drain the meat. Now normally I recommend using the very low fat beef, 7% fat, but Today at the market, they were out of it. You could go one extra step and actually rinse off the meat with hot water, but I'm not going to do that because along with it goes the flavor. So we're just going to actually let it sit here for a little bit. See the fat in the sink? That's what you're trying to avoid. Toss the meat. We'll just let it rest a bit. Next, we're going to go ahead and start cooking our tortillas. With the tortillas, or to put this on medium, this is a high burner stove, so medium here is probably high at the school stoves. We need some vegetable oil, and this is not like deep frying french fries. You need, I don't know, about a third of an inch of oil. And we're going to heat it up. We're going to next need somewhere to drain our tortillas. So right here on the stove, I'll have a pan uh, layered with paper towel to catch the oil. Now, we still have a minute or so prior to the uh, burner being ready, so we're going to go ahead and grate us some cheese. If you like a spicier flavor, you can go ahead and use a pepper jack cheese. So. All right. I really never know when the oil is done, so I just get a little water and put it in the pan, sprinkle it on it, and find out how much it's done. Since we can't pick this up with our fingers, we need a set of tongs. It's good to use metal ones, but since they're used for the barbecue, we're going to use these high heat intensity tongs. Go ahead and give it a try. And I believe on average, each individual will eat three tacos each. Oh, it's not it's not hot enough. There's no You also notice I'm wearing this lovely apron and that is because oil will splatter and if you're wearing a nice cotton shirt, you will have oil stains on it forever. So, this is our test case tortilla and I am going to go ahead and take it out so we can really begin. So, it in and I just let it lay on top and do its thing. Okay, so you can see it started to cook because there's bubbles on top. I'm going to turn this side over, let it cook a little, and then of course i got to make the taco shape. So I am going to flip it in half with my tongs and hold it so it cooks one side for about 20 seconds because we want it nice and golden. 
to this side for about 20 seconds. When it comes out, we're going to go ahead and tilt it up and sprinkle it with salt. So it's be like a yummy tortilla chip. So we'll make one more. We'll make one more and then we'll go ahead and assemble the So I have still a little unfinished business. I was waiting for the lettuce to finish draining. So I'm just going to cut up some lettuce real quick. And I just do it, some call it shredded lettuce, but it's not really put through. All right. So we have our taco shell. Let me get a plate and I will show you how to make a lovely taco. Grab a shell, excuse me. We're gonna load it up with some taco meat. And I'll tell you, normally you're at a friend's house. I'm at my own house. So it's okay to use your hands. And I like to put the cheese on top of the meat because it's warm and hopefully it will melt. Then I put a little onion. And my style is to have some chopped lettuce. a little tomato, and then the piece de resistance is the famous La Victoria. <laughs> Pour a little on top, it's kind of like, I guess, Mexican and ketchup. And you eat it. And that's how you make tacos. Is it good? Bon appetit.